Hi, and welcome to another tutorial for, by Mr. Petromo. Today's is a quick and short one. We are going to learn how to um, insert and manipulate text boxes in a Wii video segment. So today we're going to start with our cross tab here. <clears throat> and I am going to actually record this right into my tutorial. So I'm going to open up tutorials and I'm going to choose new video edit, new video edit right here, top left, and I'm going to choose a blank edit. Am I going too fast for you? New video edit, blank edit. And I'm going to click. The, don't worry if I'm too fast. You can always pause, or rewind, and watch it again. So that's the great thing. Now, on we video, we have a lot of things that we're going to learn to insert. But one of them is, so I'm going to go here to the text box selections. And there are a lot of different types to pick from. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, let's do that one. That one's a good one. So all I'm going to do is just drag this one right down into the video two slot and drop it. Now I can make it last longer by clicking the side and dragging it. And notice the little seconds are right next to my mouse. And you can you can tell how many seconds you're going to set it for. So I'm going to um, just leave that there. Now in order to edit it, you have to get use this little pencil. When you use the little pencil, that gets you into the text box editing um, feature. So you have two different segments. You have the, the transform segment and you have the text property segment. So both of those have different things under the text properties. This is where you can change what the text box said. So we can say Mr. Petromo, cool and funny computer literacy. I'm going to change it. And then I'm going to say Resley rocks. All right, so here's my text box. I can change the fonts for each of them <clears throat> separately. And I can uh, customize that to whatever I like to do. I can also resize. Let me get my three. There we go. That's pretty cool. I can either leave it on auto or I can set it to manual and resize things or type in a number like that, make it smaller, make it larger. Well, that's a little bit too large. Um, I'm going to go with 175 for the top one. So we can um, set all of our sizes. And then when we are done, oh, that's too, that's too big because you see how it goes over computer literacy. So it's kind of a little bit tricky when you get into the manual um, sizing. So let's see if I to 120 the computer literacy so it's starting to overlap my letters so you have to be careful there and as long as you're not overlapping i think you're good to go and then you can also choose the color palette so the white is your text letter so you can change that to maybe red and the the tan one is the outside so the the little circular part here and you can change that, except for you get into a little glitchy, glitchiness here when you do that. So now I have glitched my outer end, and it's not going to show up. All right, now um, I can resize the text box colors inside, but if I try to recolor the outer graphic, it has a glitch that is making it disappear. So don't touch the color on this one if you're going to use this text box. So um, on the transform, this is where we can tilt it or we can flip it and put it backwards. So we can put it on its side. You can make it upside down, put it back all the way right. We can also scale it. Now this is the, the tool that you're going to use a lot is the scaling. So if I drop it down and scale it down, this will allow me to place this in a corner and make it um, an inconspicuous text box while I still have my caption of whatever I want. Also grab a corner and resize it the old fashioned way. And then the position is the last thing. Now, if you're good with coordinates, you can use your coordinates and place, place it that way. But I just like to drag that text box down and put it in the bottom corner, one or the other which is the exact same thing I do with my video capture. When you see my um, video of my face in the tutorials, this is exactly what I've done. I've just dragged it down 
and drop it right down into the bottom left corner, or you can drop it in the top left corner. And then I can click Save Changes, and now I have a text box in the upper left corner of my video. And I can continue putting videos wherever. So if I put a background, I'll show you the effect it had. I'm gonna put a background in video one track, and now my text box is overlaid with my background. So it's really cool. Now this one though is very hard to see, so I'm gonna pick a darker one just to demonstrate here. And once it's in there, now my text box really pops against this background. So um, have fun with text boxes in Wii Video and use them as often as you like. Thank you and we'll see you next time.